Uh, okay guys, today we will talk about a very simple uh, topic. It is usually misunderstood by many of the students, but if you understand it conceptually, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, one reason I want to uh, discuss this topic is because it is a very important topic as it appears in many papers of ACCA. Uh, in some of the topics, it might be clear, a question could be asking you about relevant cost directly, uh, but in some of the topics, it comes indirectly, like in, in decision making. Uh, for example, if we talk about uh, F9, investment appraisal, so whenever we are calculating NPV, <clears throat> net present value, we use relevant costing in that. Even though in the question it is not told to you directly, but we still use relevant cost. I'm going to divide this video in two parts. In first part, I will simply explain it. And then in second part, uh, we will work on an example. Okay, so let's see what is a relevant cost. So relevant means related. So relevant cost is a cost that should be considered when making decisions. Okay. So whenever we are making a decision, uh, if we consider a cost that is relevant cost, means we include it in, in that decision. So relevant cost is cost relevant to a decision. Another definition if I want to write, it is cost affected by our decision. So if a cost is affected by our decision, it is relevant to our decision. That, that should be enough to understand what relevant cost is. But still, if you want to know uh, in more details, uh, then I will put some more light on it. Relevant cost usually have these three qualities. There are three qualities of a relevant cost. One thing is there is future cash flow. What it means is it doesn't relate to the past. Okay, happening in the future. So usually when we make decisions, we make decisions for the future. And what is in the past, we can't affect that. What we think about is future. So decision making is also like that. So when we are making decision, the cost that should be included in that decision should be related to the future. Another quality is it should be actual cash flow. What it means is not notional costs. Notional means theoretical. Like um, a good example of this, I will give you absorption costing, absorbed overheads. What is absorbed overheads? Absorbed overheads is based on our estimate. We take total uh, cost and we divide it by total activity. It gives us a rate. That is not an actual cash flow. There is not going to be actual cost that is going to be incurred. It is just a theoretical cost. Another example here would be depreciation. Depreciation is not an actual money spent on asset. What we spend on asset uh, is in the beginning when we purchase the asset. 
and not committed cost. So these are the three qualities of relevant cost. Not committed means uh, sometimes uh, a cash flow might be in the future, but for that we already have signed an agreement. If we have signed agreement that we are going to incur that cost in the future, that agreement has already been made in the past. We can't change that. If that is the case, it is also irrelevant cost. So it should not be committed cost. Uh, so in point one, I said it is future cash flow, but that future cash flow should not be a committed cost. Okay. So no agreement signed in the past. Okay. So these are the three qualities of relevant costs. One, it is future. Second, it is actual cash flow, not notional cost. And third, it is not committed cost. So let's look at some examples of relevant and irrelevant costs. So I have variable cost. Variable costs, as you know, uh, is cost that increases with units or, or with changes with units. The more the units, the more will be the variable cost. So it is cost that changes. So something that changes is usually relevant. Uh, and fixed is the opposite of that. So fixed is irrelevant. No matter whatever the activity is, if we are going to incur the cost and we are going to incur the same cost always, no matter whatever happens, then it is not going, because it is not affected, it doesn't change, it is irrelevant. But a fixed cost is incremental, means additional fixed cost, then that is relevant cost. For example, I have a, a supervisor in the factory which receives fixed salary monthly. So I'm going to give that supervisor the same uh, monthly salary, uh, no matter whatever the production is, for example. But if I'm taking another project, and that project is going to require another supervisor, so then even though the salary of the supervisor is going to be fixed, but it is incremental fixed, because of this decision, I'm incurring additional fixed cost. So then it becomes relevant. So incremental means additional. Incremental and variable basically means the same thing. Uh, variable is also additional cost changes, but we, we keep them separate. And then we have incremental cost. Incremental cost, I already explained above variable, uh, but it, it basically means the same thing. Incremental means additional. Any cost that you are going to incur additional, it is going to be relevant cost, like fixed cost. Uh, sunk cost, sunk cost are ir irrelevant. What is sunk cost? Sunk cost is cost that we have already incurred. It's already done. Okay, so it is in the past. It is not relevant. Committed cost, as already explained, irrelevant. Um, it is cost for which we already have signed an agreement. Next is opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is also relevant. Opportunity cost means uh, it is benefits foregone from not utilizing an opportunity. So most of the time what happens is we are choosing between A and B. So I'm already working on A. I'm earning profit from A. But if I go to option B, that means I can't earn the profit from A. So the profit of A becomes opportunity cost for me. 
A simple example here I will give you is, let's say you are working for a company, you already have a job, you are receiving salary from that job. If you leave that job and you work for another company, the salary from your existing job becomes opportunity cost. Okay, for example, your existing uh, company is offering you thousand dollars and you go to another company that is offering eleven hundred so you don't think that that the second company is offering eleven hundred you think that the second company is offering hundred dollars more because if you take uh, eleven hundred and you minus one thousand opportunity cost you have one hundred extra left uh, next notional cost notional cost as already explained is irrelevant uh, so they are not actual cash flows uh, example of this is depreciation absorbed overheads so this was simple explanation of relevant costs in next video i will work on a simple example and that should be it